All right, you should have your ladybug. I should say ladybugs. Oops, ladybugs on here. This is the paper you should have. And of course, we have Dottie. I've put up my little picture of Dottie here for you to look at. I'm going to read to you some things about ladybugs, and I'm also going to read to you a story about Dottie. Um, so wh while I'm reading on here, it says color Dottie. So you can color while you are listening to me. You have a choice. I'll let you decide what you want to color, because what color are usually ladybugs? What color do our ladybugs? Red and black, red with black dots, right. But Dottie, they had fun with her, the, the people that made Dottie, they thought I guess it would be more fun to give her purple dots, maybe make her look a little more colorful. So you can choose how you want to color Dottie. If you want to color her red with black dots, that's perfectly fine. If you want to color her like the pic like her picture, how they have her, red with purple dots, you can do that too. So, um, But you can decide what color you would like to make Dottie, and you can color this while I'm reading you some stories. Um, but remember, first things first, get your name on. Write your name on your paper. And... Also, something that we would have been doing if you would be here in class, which we will do, we'll do in the spring. Um, we go outside and we go look through the river rock outside by, up by the church on that hill. And I let everybody pick a rock. And then, of course, I take the rocks home and clean them really good. Um, and then I bring them back to school and you get to paint them and make them into ladybugs. So we will do that. We'll do that later in the spring. Um because when we come back in January, it's going to be really cold. I don't want to go out looking for our rocks. And so we'll wait for springtime. But that will be our little project that you get to paint a ladybug later. So you will get to paint a la make a rock into a ladybug and take it home and keep it. Okay? So get your crayons out. Start coloring. You can look at Dottie here too. There's no reflection from the light. And I'm going to read to you some things about ladybugs and my story about a ladybug. Okay, so go ahead and color. Um, and remember, don't forget to write your name. Uh, it says, ladybugs are winged insects, which means they have six legs. Does it look like, doesn't look like in my picture here, Dottie has six legs. Huh. Wonder why why they only gave her four. If you look, she only has four legs. You'd think they would make her look more realistic, huh? Not sure why, So, but real ladybugs have six legs. They are either red with black spots or black with red spots. So they can be either way. Real, they were talking about real ladybugs. And the number of spots that they have will determine the type of ladybug they are. There are about 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. 5,000 is a really big number. Birds are mainly the enemies of the ladybugs. Why do you think a bird would be an enemy of a ladybug? Hmm, probably they eat them, huh? It says the ladybug will play dead if it is threatened by one. So the ladybug pretends he's dead. So then the bird probably doesn't want to eat a dead bug, so... He lets it be then. So these bugs are usually welcomed in the gardens because they eat many garden pests. And you can also find ladybugs in fields, forest, grasslands, and sometimes in your house. I think we all can say we probably have seen um, ladybugs in our house. You sometimes find them on the windowsill. I find mine on my windowsill. Okay. Um, Dottie... It, the name of our story is Dottie's Surprise, and there's going to be a tea party, but they're going to surprise Dottie. So listen to my story while you're coloring, and I will ask you questions. So hopefully you can pay attention to my story while you're coloring. So do your best, okay? So it says, there is a surprise in today's story. Listen to find out who is surprised. But it's called, the name of the story is Dottie's Surprise. So who do you think surprised? Dottie. Dottie's surprised. I think Dottie. We'll see. Or is Dottie the person 
or is Dottie the one that's giving the surprise? We'll find out. All right, Dottie the ladybug rubbed all of her beautiful black spots. See, now the story says she has black spots, but yet they tell her, her give her purple. Oh, I don't understand this. Anyways, she wanted them to look bright and shiny for the tea. She was invited to a tea party. She picked up her new black straw hat and carefully perched it on her head. Oh, she did look lovely, if she did say so herself. So she's wearing a, a pretty black hat. It, always, it was always a treat to be invited to one of Belinda Beetle's tea party. So Belinda Beetle's having a tea party. Belinda spent days cleaning, decorating, and baking, and Dottie had smiled with delight when she found the invitation in her mailbox. The pretty pink invitation had been decorated with flowers and written in gold ink. Ooh, so it's a pretty pink one with gold writing on it, and I'll read to you what it said. Uh, it said on the uh, invitation, come to my tea, said the bug to the bee. The fly will be there with a rose in her hair. The grub will come too in a hat of pale blue. We will eat cake on the lawn by the lake. It is all set for you, so buzz by too. Oh, so she had it in a little poem. So she was saying different people will be there and to come over by the lake at two o'clock. So Dottie pulled on her gloves as she shut the door behind her. Just as the clock struck two, the ladybug landed on the lawn at Belinda Beetle's house. The smell of roses and the gardenias delighted Dottie as she made her way over to her friends. Of course, you all know roses are flowers. Gardenias are also a type of flower. I'm so glad you're here, Belinda said as she hugged her. Your hat is beautiful. Please sit down. Thank you for inviting me, said Dottie. Everything looks so pretty. The table was set with delicate place settings of the finest china and tiny vases of rosebuds. Betsy B and Granny Grub were already seated and before she could speak to them, Fran Fly arrived. So we have a bee, a grub, and a fly. The insects were so busy eating tiny sandwiches and sipping tea as they visited with each other. It was a perfect day to spend with friends in the shade by the lake. As Dottie leaned close to Granny Grub to get her recipe for the spicy raspberry tea, she didn't see Belinda approaching the table until everyone started to sing happy birthday. Dottie was surprised indeed. She had been so busy thinking about the tea that she had completely forgotten that today was her birthday. So today was Dottie's birthday. Belinda had made a beautiful cake with white frosting and a tiny yellow buttercups. Fran left the table and soon returned with her arms filled with daintily wrapped gifts. Dottie the ladybug thought that Belinda's teas were wonderful, but Belinda's birthday tea was even better. So that was so nice of Belinda to have a little surprise party for Dottie. Huh? So Dottie was the one surprised because it was her birthday and her friend had a surprise party. How nice. All right, I'm going to ask you some questions. Hopefully you were paying attention. See if you can answer these. Why was Dottie getting all dressed up? In the beginning of the story, why was she getting all dressed up? Where was she going? To go into her friend's tea party. And what was her friend's name? Do you remember her friend's name? Belinda Beetle. Hopefully you said Belinda Beetle. Why do you think Dottie wore her new hat to the tea party? Why would she wear a new, her new hat to the tea party? Because she wanted to look her best. She wanted to look her best. She wanted to look, you invited to a nice little tea party. You want to look nice and pretty, huh? So, oh, let's see if you were paying attention. I did review, I did say who, so who was at the tea party? Who was at the tea party? Can you name me the characters? We had Betsy, 
B, Granny, Grub, Fran, is it Fran and Fly, and of course Belinda, Beetle, and Dottie. What, oh this is a tricky one. This is a little bit of a tricky one. What recipe does Dottie ask Granny Grub for? What recipe was she asking her for when she didn't notice Belinda coming over with the cake? What kind of what kind of tea? It was a spiced what? Do you remember? Spicy raspberry tea. Why do you think Dottie wants the tea recipe? Why would you think she'd be asking Granny Grub for the tea recipe? She likes it, so she wants to make it for herself or for her friends because it tasted so good. A lot of times people, when they try something new and they like it, they ask someone, you know, the person that made it, they ask them for the recipe so that they can make it again for themselves. Um, what was the surprise? What was the surprise in the story? The birthday cake and the gifts, the, part, the birthday party for Dottie, right? Um... Here's a question, it just, you, you can, whatever your opinion is, it says like, what kind of gifts do you think Dottie would like? What kind of gifts do you think she would like? Well, we know she likes to drink tea, so she probably would like some tea. Uh, we know she likes pretty hats, maybe a hat, huh? So I'm not sure what else. Hopefully you guys are thinking of some good things too. Alrighty, so... I'm going to show you, um, should be, you hopefully you'll be, you're, hopefully you're done coloring your picture of Dottie. You should, I think I gave you enough time for that. I'm going to take my little Dottie down here and I'll put my paper up. But, and we're going to look at these sentences. But before we look at those sentences, I want to go over some sentences I wrote on here for you. And can you tell, do you remember we talked about a sentence? We said, a sentence always starts with what? An uppercase letter, a capital letter. Every sentence starts with an uppercase letter. And it, we learned some of the endings. So what should be, and when you're doing your handwriting, some of you forget to do this at the end of your sentence. What should be at the end of the sentence? Hopefully you said period, period, a period at the end of the sentence. So that's what's missing on this one. I'm going to read these with you. A period, a nice little dot on both of them. Dottie is very, remember Dottie's really big on punctuation. Punctuation means putting a period at the end of your sentence. Capital letter at the beginning. So why don't you try reading this, these sentences with me. Hopefully you should know some of these words. Says the bug bug had a cup. I'm gonna read the next one. And look, the words are the same except for the last word. Do you see that? So you should be able to read this one. The bug had a. And what story are you reading right now? Bell, B-E-L-L, -L. you should know that word, bell. So we'll read them again together. Read them with me, we'll do them one more time. The bug had a cup. The bug had a bell. All right, so you always wanna put a period at the end of your sentences. Um, I'm just learning about periods for now. I did show you about the exclamation points for showing when you're excited, a question mark for question. We did do those before. We'll go back and review those later on. But for now, we're just going to talk about a period at the end of it, especially on your handwriting pages. I'll make sure I see periods. So let's look down here. Just need your pencil. It says place a period after each sentence. Well, we make this confusing because we just talked about what does the, the words in the sentence start with a capital letter, but they have do a picture of Dottie to start it with. They should have wrote her name on here for you because Dottie is a name and a name always starts with the uppercase, a capital letter. 
and also a sentence. So they just have her picture here. So let's read this. It says, Dottie is a, we just had this word on, on that, uh, the sentence I showed you, but a bug. Dottie is a bug. What's missing after bug? A period. So write a period. I don't want to see them big. Let me show you what I want to see. A nice little dot on the line. I do not want to see giant dots that are as big as the letters because some of you have been doing that. And I do not want to see that. Tilt this a little more. All right, so let's read this next one. Dottie has, this is a new word, dots, dots. So let's say it again together. Dottie has dots. And what's missing here again? A period. I want to see a nice, neat little period there. Put a nice, neat little one on there. On the line. You rest it on the line. So it should look like that. Nice and neat. Okay, you can turn your page over. And we are doing lowercase f. Lowercase f. Let's see what looks like. I can't see very good on my... All right. A little bit of a reflection. So to make an F, you will start at the top, go down, and then you cross it. See, it shows you up here. Start at the top, go down, and then you put that over the dashed line. So go ahead and make your Fs for me. And I'll talk about on the picture for F, we have Fox, Fireman, Feather, and the man in the bottom here, is a farmer. Think of any other Fs. I can think of, oh, the month of February starts with an F. Friday starts with an F. Um, I can't think what we got. Fan, a fan. Huh. So I'm sure you guys are probably thinking of some other words that start with F. Fish. Fish is one. Fish. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, but yeah, those are some F words that start with F. All right. So the directions here say circle the word that matches each picture. So we know this is a fan. What does fan start with? F, so you want to look at your words. They all rhyme. We have pan. I don't know if you can see that. Pan, van, fan. So circle. We're not drawing a line to. The direction said circle. Circle the word fan. Okay, let's cut across here. What is this a picture of? Pig. Well, we have a P with a peep. Pig. Say all the words with me. Wig. Fig. Fig is a type of fruit that people eat. So pig, wig, fig. Circle pig. All right, let's look down. Oh, look at Hopscotch. What does it look like he's doing? He's in a race. Looks like he's in first place, huh? So these all rhyme. P-I-N. P-I-N. Pin. You should know this word. We've had that in our books. Win. And with an F, fin. They all rhyme. Let's say them again. Pin, win, fin. So what's he doing? Win, right? So circle win. All right. Let's look at this last one. We have, what do we have in this picture? A bed. Look, B-E-D, bed. Bed. With a T, that's a name, because it's an uppercase letter, Ted. And last one with an F, Fed. So let's say them again. Bed, Ted, Fed. Which one are you going to circle? All right, Bed. Okay. So we're done with this page. I want you to get out your phonics. We're actually going to do two pages next, so get out your uh, two phonics pages for the next one. I'll be ready to do those with you next. So 
Get your phonics out and I'll see you in a little bit.